So year two, our last video of the day. Now I've written out my instructions a bit more carefully because it's a bit difficult to talk and cook at the same time of how to make delicious pear crumble. Remember, your instructions will need a title. Then you'll need to tell people what they will have to go and get. So you will need 75 grams of plain flour, 75 grams of butter, cold and cut into pieces, half a tablespoon of ground cinnamon, 75 grams of demerara sugar, and six ripe cored and diced pears. Look at those bullet points which show the list. Then we want the method, how we're going to do it. First, don't forget those uh, time adverbials with your comma following it, preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Then, place the flour and butter carefully into a bowl and rub together with your fingertips. Only use 65 grams of the butter or you'll end up with sticky fingers like Mrs Turner. Next, gently stir in the cinnamon and the sugar. And after that, tip the crumbly mixture into a baking tray and bake for 10 to 12 minutes until it's golden brown and toasted. Meanwhile, heat the remaining golden butter in a pan until foaming. Then add the chopped pears. Reduce the heat until the mixture is simmering like a babbling brook. See what I did with my simile there. Cover and cook for three to four minutes until the pears are soft. Now, with my pencil, my pens rather, I'm just gonna show you what I've been using. I'm gonna circle my adverbials of time, my time adverbials. First, then, next, after that. Meanwhile, can you see what's missing? That's right, finally. So we're gonna to have to write that final instruction. What I'm also going to do before I do that is I'm going to put in the um, adjectives that we've used. Now don't forget, if we're doing a list, we need to use commas. Here I've got ripe, cored, diced pears. I've got ground cinnamon. I've got cold. I have got crumbly mixture. And I have got, what else do I have? That's about it. Well, what else do I have? I also have got, I'm just gonna underline it with black, to make sure I've got my um, adverbs. How am I going to do it? Well, don't forget, goodness gracious, I ended up with a sticky old mess, didn't I? Because I didn't carefully follow the instructions. I need to make sure we use words like gently stir. And we know that adverbs have got the ly suffix at the end of the words. So what am I going to do for my final instruction? Let's have a look. So my finger's getting in the way there. And I'm just going to make sure that I've got my handwriting scheme in front of me so that I can remember what letters I join at the minute and which ones I don't. Don't worry too much as long as we get a flow in style, but let's have a go. Now I'm obviously trying to write and hold whilst I'm doing it, so forgive me if I don't do it particularly as well as my last one. So finally, spoon the delicious sweet mixture into an unproof dish and oh, and sprinkle on the crumble. So, I can't read my own handwriting there. So, um, finally, spoon the delicious sweet mixture. So, I don't join my S, I don't join my P, spoon the delicious Sweet mixture into an oven proof dish and sprinkle. on the crumble. 
Now, because I've remembered to put my two adjectives in, delicious and sweet, don't forget your expanded noun phrase, where we need to put that comma between our two adjectives. That's it. Those are instructions done. Good luck with yours today. Have a good one.